Hi and welcome back to part two of the Capcom Sega Atlas Bundle Binge. We have a great lineup today. I'm pumped for these games. Uh, what do we have? We have Renegade Ops, which is a crazy game. I'll get into that in a second. That's first on the list, followed by Resident Evil 4, Rollers of the Realm, and then Sonic Generations. So let's get to it. Right on. We're starting off with Renegade Ops. So Renegade Ops is from the devs who made the Just Cause series. So you know there's going to be some action, some blowing up, some shooting. Um, it was released for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, way back in 2011. So it's not too old, but it's getting up there. But So it's fairly in that recent-ish realm. Um, it's a top-down vehicular combat game. So it's kind of a dual-stick shooter in that sense where you're moving with the left analog and, and the right analog you're shooting around. Got some great reviews on Steam and throughout its different uh, mediums, but um, I'm looking forward to playing it. So without further ado, let's just jump right into this bundle and get into Renegade Ops. Here we go for some Renegade Ops. Sega. And nice. Avalanche Studios, here we go. Ah, using a gamepad, I will be using a PS4 controller today. So we're going to pay attention to this intro cutscene, because if you get the game, this is what it would be like. That's no fun. This isn't the city where you live, where you go to work, where your children cool. go to school. Cool. graphic novel action. For that, you should be grateful. But tomorrow, it could be. Will it be your city I choose? That decision I leave to your leaders. I am Inferno, and you're all living in my world now. Dang, what a dick. An alias, that's all we have. The huh. best intelligence agencies in the world, and we don't even know this maniac's real name. Catalonia City is a funeral pyre. There are more cities under threat. We have so to this is the UN analog. I, I dig the intro so far. Then, reluctantly, I say negotiation. Everyone wants something. This terrorist hmm. will be no different. I'll tell you what he wants. <laughs> Terror. <pain>. Yeah. Chaos. <laughs> he calls himself yes. Inferno. That sound like someone opened a dialogue. Thank I like you, that General guy. Bryant, but this council General Bryant, huh? Any further outbursts from you. Save your vote. I know how this is going to end. You'll talk and he'll talk back <laughs> and he'll laugh and keep Oh man. While he's doing the tone it. of this game already I'm is setting the stage for something fantastic. Oh, is he going to do it? Oh, he did it. It's on. Hence the renegade. Then maybe I know some people who will. Oh yeah. This is gonna be good. Renegade Ops. Sweet. Well, here we go. So we're just going to jump into this. Um, kind of like how you would if you would start the game. So we're just gonna do the generic stuff. Single player. Inferno, that's the guy. There's more you can do. Oh, there's a, two campaigns. That's cool. So this bundle, I got, I guess, the expansion that goes with it. Sweet, we're just gonna do the generic Inferno. We'll keep it on normal. Uh, mission one, obviously. Baptism by fire. Go figure. <laughs> um, character selects this. Airstrike, EMP abilities. Roxy, gunner, ability heavy gun. Cool. Antland, a swarm of Antland, cool. Blazemo, Incinerator, Burning Maelstrom, Crystal, Force Field. Cool. So we're just gonna go right for the very generic character. Um, invulnerable. That's perfectly fine. Let's just start with that. We need to use the basic everything. We start with no upgrade points, it looks like. Um, so we can upgrade a lot of customization for character. That's kind of cool. So we're just going to jump in and start the game and see how this goes. So, hey, let's, let's do this.
So I'm not sure how the graphics look, how what this is going to be like. I just know a little bit about it. Sir, I've seen it a long time ago. But... Good. Initiate the assault. So this guy Crush again. All opposition. So they're invading this little island. Okay. All right. So let's just jump into this. Starting now. Crush all opposition. Huh? Buckle up, renegades. Here we go. And shooting. Okay, shooting some mortar or some mines. Not too bad, okay. Look out! Pretty simple. So far. Thought they probably blow up and hurt you, so clear a path. Wow, the game looks good though, looks great. I think the top down type deal shoot that. It's behind me, whatever, whatever. Get some points. Oh no, that's gonna hurt me. No, do it! Nice. Cool, we're on the beach. And shooting! Cool, let's see my special ability. Okay, oh cool, I get, get the armor action. Oh, it's, it's, you can only use it a certain amount, so I don't want to waste it. Oh, this is nice, the control's great. Wee, little circles, really simple. Oh, well, you can do some rad donuts in this thing, look at that. All right, sorry, try to go for it, let's go. Okay, we're I gotta destroy this mortar truck. Ooh. Mowing these holes down. Oh, turn on some armor. That's so cheating. Look, <laughs> my shield. Nice. So, what is that life? Whoa. Dude, I love the way this controls, though. It's like so smooth. It's like this donut. Alright, sorry. <laughs> Gonna go across the bridge. Oh, slow down. Conveniently timed mortars, of course. Video game, half video game. So you can't shoot while I have that, that shield up. That's my special ability. Mortar truck destroy. Ooh, level up. A new primary objective. Huh? Good work. Got a civilian prisoner in a nearby village. New priority. Extract that prisoner. You get a lot of life and stuff. Their range is trash over dudes. Ooh, power up. It's cargo. You shoot down all these buildings. Oh crap, don't fall off the cliff. Please, you heard the man. To him. Sorry buildings. Eh. Why not? Let's keep going. Um, what's this way? Yeah. Oh yeah, you have a map function too. You can go on a map. Okay, so it's a little... There I am on the map. Right there, so you can go either way. That's the objective. We're gonna go this way. Clear out some houses. Oh! Oh! So there's time objectives. I thought I should go do what I was supposed to do, huh? Let's go back. I wasn't aware of a time component. So even though the maps are wide open, you still gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, my driving skills are not great. <laughs> Come on, let's go, let's go. That's all I had to do. Oh, I just flipped over. My family is safe. I will barricade the church. They won't last long on their own. Oh. Out, renegades. Okay, so now what do we have to do to defend the church? Oh, you got turbo now. More oh, cool. That's why I was going Find slow. Get them to the church. So bring prisoners to the church, huh? Oh, that's your turbo boost. Nice. Okay. So back to the map. Oh, there's prisoners all over the place. We just have to go grab them. Oh, 
Upgrade. That's what I'm talking about. So I hope there's no time to run on this one. I'm scooping around. All right. Oh, so that's I guess that's a prisoner crate. Go, go, go. Is how's the prisoners inside like little lots or little uh, cargo truck? That's mean. So let's see if what happens if I drop it off. So the church is there. Boosters. Nice. They're trying to move the prisoners out of here. No way are we letting that happen. Stop those prisoner transports. Oh, we will do that. I'm just following the red arrow. I'm not even looking where I'm going. Gotcha. Take the prisoner. Go, go, go. So a prisoner is just a glowing box, huh? <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. The game looks great. It controls pretty well. I guess I just have a more weapon upgrades later. You get like uh, secondary weapons. Oh crap! It does have a time component. You points. All right, let's go. Oh, go this way. The. Uh, A little indicator helps a lot. All in your grill. Right. Going back to the church. Drop this guy off again, and I obviously got to go to that other objective. Turbo boost is fun. Whoa! Dude, my gun is pretty awesome now. Falling the arrow. Mad damage, though. I don't know how to take down these houses, though. Just ram into them? Yep, just drive through the houses. A rocket launcher truck. It's pounding that village. Put it out of Oh! That was a nice landing. So there's a rocket launcher truck, huh? Pounding a village. Well, let's put it out of commission, shall we? What about the turbo booster? Damn. Um, it really kicked my ass. I just died. So if you go in too gung-ho, that happens. Oh, but I respawned for good. Oh, that lost all my power-ups. Oh, I got a rocket launcher. Oh! That helps. I don't get my other machine gun, but I do get a rocket launcher for a secondary weapon. So I have, you can see on the bottom left, I have two or three. Level two. Nice. Got yeah, so you get upgrade points. Okay. I have full prisoners, so we're gonna drive over the edge. Oh, you guys saw that. Mortar truck spotted. Get to it. I don't have time for the mortar the truck, fool. I have to go to this church, which is right this way. Boom. The barricade missed, so let's go to the mortar truck. I like how the missions are dynamic, though. That's kind of fun. You can just like continue to go. Anyway, so I was just. See if I can go through those. So we're gonna go toward this truck this way. Trying to kill some guys in my way, right? Boom, 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 get some points. Got some houses. So yeah, overall, like I'm this is fun. I can play a lot more of this. Oh shortcut. Oh. There we go, got a machine gun upgrade again. Yay. That's when he get ops. Pretty cool. Well, what else can you do? 
You can do multiplayer. Oh, you can do split screen. Nice. Okay. What would be doing that? Cool. Well, hey, that's Renegade Ops. Sorry, I died, but it was fun. Check it out. It's Renegade Ops. Next up, we have, oh yes, the classic Resident Evil 4. Mm-hmm. Classic game. Now, this is one of the best Resident Evils of all time. Now, I wasn't too experienced with the later franchises. I, need. I know Resident Evil 7 is out. People like it in VR. Um, I played Resident Evil 1, and I have dabbled a little bit in 4 right when it came out, but it's been a long time, obviously 12 years, because this game came out on GameCube in 2005. So that's a long time. Um, since then, it's come to almost every platform, even iOS. Um, the good thing about this game is it was a long time between Resident Evils in the series. Um, I think it was a six year development cycle for this. It was initially announced I think in 1999 and then they finally released the game in 2005 worldwide. Obviously it's a survival horror game, it's Resident Evil, it's going to be scary, it's going to be cool. And supposedly it takes place exactly six years or so after the events of Resident Evil 2, I think, or Resident Evil 3, and it takes uh, place in Spain. So, yeah, we're going to get into it and uh, check it out. Resident Evil. Getting scared. Resident Evil 4. Ooh, I'm getting scared. You guys ready? Press any key. Don't mind if I do. New game? Normal. Resident Evil 4! Uh, that was scary. That was really scary. Here we go. We're gonna watch this intro. Ooh. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred. That was 20 years ago now. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. Mm -hmm. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town. The devastating blow That's cool. Give us a good little. Foundation. If you haven't played Resident Evil, you can just jump into this. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize. Records. By nukes, that's what you do, right? With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business to create mm -hmm. an umbrella. Soon, its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, umbrella was finished. Mm -hmm. But was it? Obviously not. That's why we're here. Okay. Let's jump in. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct mm -hmm. control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Mm-hmm. Cool, yeah. Why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. That's not... You are a long way from home, cowboy. <laughs> you have my sympathy. Not cliche or racist at all. way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. Quiet. All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just take the phone so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bond. Oh, voice acting is great. And again, maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you're crazy, American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell hmm. it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. What's gonna happen? We're gonna skip through these cutscenes if we can. We're gonna skip through some game. But you can't skip, so we gotta watch them. I might skip some, so we'll jump back into it in a second. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. <laughs> this is. Jeez. I love the writing already. You say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll uh -huh. give you support on this mission. Thank you, Ingrid. Loud and clear. 
Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. Oh, Lord. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. Behave yourself, okay? Whoever right, looks good. Try to find information on my end. Good. Talk to you later. Cool. Bye. Well, they dropped in with the gun. So, oh, wow. So, knife. Is it inverted? What? Is it look? Okay, that's swing your knife. Oh, my goodness. That's... That's terrible. Oh my goodness, I'm inverted, that's why. Let me just, holy lord of mercy, we have to fix that right away. Uh, is there a way to fix that or? Mother of God. Oh lord, this is gonna be bad. Okay, well, we're gonna have to go through it. So that's your gun. Okay. And that's your, your inventory in the map. Let's go fast. That's your knife. This is crazy, it's been so long. Let's, let's reload. God, this, this is gonna just... Wow. Okay. Here we go. Something's going down in here. That just says looking. Okay. Just an old guy. Excuse me, sir. What is he out doing here? Oh, okay. I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. Wow. Sorry to have bothered you. Freeze. I got it. Freeze. <laughs> okay, random cutscene. And then they left me. Oh, wait. Uh oh. Going down. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. Yep. I had no choice but to neutralize him. I neutralized him. Still others surrounding the area. Okay, get out of here. Village necessary. Understood. Okay, bye. Peter's cool. He's not a zombie. Okay. I saw the guys out here. So let's. It won't budge, huh? Oh, yeah, I forgot about the tank controls. Okay, we're going to head upstairs. Wow. What was that? Yes, I will take the handgun ammo. There's a time and place for all games, so this was awesome at the time. That's really gross. Oh, look at those textures. Yeah, those maggots look really realistic. <laughs> I hope Ashley's okay. Um, probably not, bro. Let's like my knife. And I'm gonna reload real quick because... There we go. I know he's not a zombie fool. Oh my god. 
There are some old books here. <laughs> uh, I, I gotta get used to, oh my lord, this is just... Oh, uh, that's what I gotta do, huh? So obviously it's not budging, so I probably gotta go upstairs. I hear zombie sounds. So there's gotta be a window or something up there. I didn't see anything right away, but this. Oh, there we go. Wow, okay. Oh, sh shit! Damn, this is like so hard to control. I shot him in the face. I think that's what makes the game scary is how hard it is to control. Wow. That was something. I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> uh. So I jumped out the window. Go back in the house and see what's going down in here. Homeboy's still dead. Okay, we're gonna go upstairs. I can drop out again, but let's see what else is over here. Nothing? Okay, let's see, can I jump out again? Yes, same animation! Yes! <laughs> alright, so, alright, well, let, let's just check these bodies real quick. Oh my god. So. This is a classic at the time, but the controls are a little rough. Um, again, this is my first time touching it in forever, so... Oh my goodness. If I'm making you guys dizzy, I apologize, because I'm making myself dizzy. Let's search the house. It's a wooden box, no... Oh, so they probably want me to shoot it. Oh, what if I can stab it to death? Oh, wow, you can stab it to death. Cool. Yes, I'll take the ammo. Reload is this plus that. Okay. Okay. So I gotta go that way. So basically, I got to the edge of the house, and now uh, they just dropped me off here, and I gotta make my way back. There, there's a shed over there. Let's go check the shed out. All right, is that the way I want to go? Yep. Let's go check the shed out. Oh, typewriter, so I can save my game. Oops. Yes. So let's save. Yes, typewriters were a thing, people. Can I break these crates too? The green herb. Yes, I'll take the green herb. I hear some weird sound. I mean, like, we're driving up here and we saw this. Like, this doesn't stop you from going anywhere? Like, what the hell? Oh, that's not cool. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna help the wolf. Another trap right there. Don't step in it. Stop it! So this just looks like just... Oh, 
I'm just running through this wilderness in Spain, shooting fools. We'll try and do this terrible control here. All right, so we know something's going down. Well, some guy kind of, oh my lord. That doesn't look fun, people. Wow. Um, welcome to Resident Evil. Let's close up with that. Yeah, stabbed in the face. Where's this guy at? Shot you in the face. <laughs> I love how they come up so slow. Oh, they're so slow, but it's great. It helps me right now in this game. It's weird because the, the gun is inverted, but your look is not. All right, we're gonna search this. This is a slow... Oh, snipey! I just got stabbed. And then, how do you... So I guess that's my health right there. I'm, I'm blinking. So I'm sure I should use an herb. Which is... I don't know what button for my inventory. Oh, here we go. Uh, weapons, copy, key treasures, map files. Okay, I'm loading. Did I just break the game? Oh, that was a long load. Weapons recovery, that's good. Herb, use. Hey, so herb makes your, it's your health. Sweet, I need that. Nice. Getting money, it's good. Okay, well, let's see what we got here. Ooh. How you holding up? Bad question, Hunnigan. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. Oh, now they're sending me? Thanks. Thanks. Oh. Great. See, you go through that whole series and now the game tells you how to play. What? Yeah, you see the reloading, you have to hold down your trigger and then you have to use your firearm. Kicks. Approaching enemies that are either stunned or on their knees will allow you to perform kicks. Okay. Changing inventory screen. So use the da da. Okay, thanks. Like it just now sh What? Playing at manual one. I should have read this one. Combat knife. Action button. Camera. Change the angle. Yeah. Wow, this is uh, under files, I guess. Oh my goodness gracious. Let's take a peek. Oh, let's see. Binoculars, when did I get those? Oh, that's the same guy as before. They hung them all out there, just kind of going about their business. Nice. Well, let's check the inventory. What's that? First aid spray. Ah, I should use that. Oh, let's kill some uh, zombie in. people, I guess, huh? Agarrenlo! Reload. Right 
my butt. Oh, the guy next to me. Hey, I killed you already. Far range that those guys have. Damn it! I'm not really dodging in this, so let me just. First aid spray. Resident Evil was awesome! I died! It's alright. Hey. I'm not passing any missions on this one. Some hard games. But there you go. That's Resident Evil. Until next time. Rollers of the Realm. Rollers. Rolling. Balls. That kind of thing. Round. Realm. Medieval. Horses. Lands. Yeah, basically, if you take three random words, medieval, pinball, and RPG, smash them together, you get a video game called Rollers of the Realm. Basically, that's what we're doing today. Next up is Rollers of the Realm. Uh, released in 2014 for the PS4, Vita, and PC. Uh, this is a full-fledged RPG game, but you play pinball to win. Um, it's, I guess it's a story based on a bunch of midfit, uh, misfits who are trying to save the world from an evil magic force while playing pinball, as one does. So, um, if you guys are ready, let's, uh, let's play some pinball and save the world. As legend would have it, three great warriors were granted immortality and immense power with which to rule our land. Yet, as so often happens in our tales, an envious witch appeared. She cursed the three warriors and imprisoned them for eternity, slipping the land into endless conflict. If you believe this tale, but it is fitting of our realm. Conflict is endless. And there hasn't been right. a king or upstart that doesn't claim to be one of the three warriors incarnate. Here we go. You guys ready? And start. And there's some warriors and everything. Um, new items unlocked. Report. Let's just play and see what happens. Ooh. So it's literally pinball. The better pickings will be in town. We'll head for the gates. Oh, hey, doggy. So yeah, basically all I did was uh, start the game, turn on the intro cinematic, and here we are. So yeah, uh, use A and L for the flippers. And so you got two hands here, and space ball to launch the ball. So using the good old keyboard, let's roll. So launching the ball, boom. Whoa. Off you go, lass. Don't need your I guess you can town. use a controller too. You heard that? You'll need to distract the guards so I can slip past. Let's you use a controller. Boy. So he's gonna distract the guards. Build up mana blue points to enable rogue special ability called Call Dog. Okay. Nice. Whoa. I'm smacking those people up. So. Nice. 
Okay, you got it. Oh, missed. Excuse me. This is old school. Man, I used to get down on some pinball back in the day. So I got those down. So I'll let them fall. Well, it's easy to get up there. I got that down. So let's just. Okay, let me hit these guards. Off with you. I'm getting points. Ah, so I charged it up. But now how to use a special ability. Oh, that's paused. Oh, careful there. Oh, there it is. Your space, space bar. You should shoot another oh, ball. Look at the little rascal. So I gotta aim it over there, huh? Nice. Oh, yeah. Boy, this is pretty cool. Wow. K to maneuver the ball right or S to maneuver the ball left. Hold for longer, more full. So it's like tilting the table. Gotcha. Oh, you can literally move the ball. Nice. Oh, and you gotta use the bumpers. Oh, wow, that's hard. Light torches in the area can real power. That's cool. So you can, like, totally, like, move a ball around and stuff. Wow. Well, I didn't do so well on Resident Evil, but I'm gonna kick some butt at some pinball. You smell anything worse than boy? Well, let's make this quick then. We shan't wear out our welcome. <laughs> Sweet. Collect gold. Tip. Rogue ball will pickpocket villagers when she strikes. Cool, so you get all these abilities. Oops. And boom. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna aim it over there. Excuse me. Good day. Oh, oh that that oh shoot. That bumper over there does not go all the way up, that's good to know. So I want to charge up Rogue, my doggy special ability. Pardon, pardon. Pardon. Good day. Pardon. So when you smack people, you get points. So I got Rogue, so I'm going to shoot her out. Yoink. So she can pickpocket people and get money. Pardon. All yes. Right. We better head out. Oh, nice. So I just got 400 gold. Uh oh. Now, where did I. I put my horse. The blacksmith wants you out of his town. The blacksmith <laughs> can go hang himself. All right. Beat some sense into him, boys. So, literally, it's a game with the playing pinball. <sighs> what do you think, boy? Should we leave him? You can't hurt no, me. we're going to help him out. I can still take him. Yeah. Excuse me. Come on now, get up there. There we go. They have a lot of hit points. Oh, I have my dog. I shoot my dog out there. Get up there. He's getting his butt kicked up there. <laughs> so I have enough mana for another dog, but I already have the dog out, so I'll shoot her again. Yeah, got him. You're drunk alone. Big talk for a street rat. We know what you're doing around town. The blacksmith will want to see you and that. So now I gotta get see these guys before they get. Oh, whoops, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at my other ball. Nice, that was a good one. Alright. Got my mana, shoot my other ball. Boom. Oh yeah, I forgot you can aim the ball. Finish the little rat. No! Please don't! Take your grandpa and leave town. Your mutt stays with us. Oh, what? The blacksmith fancies dog meat. So it took my dog. So I forgot one thing you can you can literally move the ball. Wow. Like you can aim the ball. What were you thinking mouthing off to those thugs? They insulted my honor. What honor? So I'm the wooden ball, he's the iron ball. Where's your family, child? My dog is all the family I have. Where does this hmm. blacksmith live? They'll kill you. You weren't so cautious when your honor was on the line. Where did he take my dog? Cross down into his territory. 
I'll so take we have to go get I the dog. I think I can do without your help. It would be my honor to, to reunite you with your family. Family. All right, but try not to throw up on me. <laughs> All right, so we have different abilities. Oh, so you can use different. That's kind of cool. And yeah, progress to the next level. Cool. All right, so we're gonna do another level because that was fun. We got the basics down. So I just do the same level again? So we're gonna see what happens. Oh. Shoot, that was the wrong button. Oh wow, he has mad damage. Um, yeah, you can totally move the ball around too. I forgot that's easy. He, he, yeah, this guy, he's tough. Oh, so they have they can do damage to your paddles. That's kind of cool. So like the green on your paddles is your life bar. <laughs> Take that, take that. It, it, it gets kind of difficult to control the- oh wow, the arrows stop you. It gets kind of difficult to control the uh, the movement of your ball at the same time. You can move right or left by using the K and J or S and, S and K. But like, you forget, you forget to do that because you're hitting your paddles. But it's kind of cool though. So, man, come on now. Die. Boom. Ow. Boom. Boom. Oh. Not yet. Defeated. Well, test rollers of the realm. I think that's good. Do you guys like it? Predator, what'd you think? It was good. Rollers of the realm. I like it. Basically, it's an RPG, but pinball. So if you like pinball, and you like RPGs, play Rose of the Rum. Last, but certainly not least, we have Sonic Generations. Yes, good old Sonic. Um, released in 2011 for PS3, Xbox 360, and PC, and 3DS, of course. Um, it was made by the Sonic team. So good, you know, it's a true Sonic game. Um, it was made to commemorate the 20th anniversary of Sonic. I think they started doing ideas uh, for this game um, back in 2008, and so it was about a three-year development cycle. Um, the cool thing about it is they took all the levels um, from all the previous games in Sonic and kind of reskinned them, made them HD, um, and there's two types of play, the classic 2.5D with side-scrolling, just like typical Sonic like we remembered growing up, and there's also the fully immersive 3D style, kind of like the Sonic Adventures, and earlier in this series we played Sonic Adventure 2, um, which was a little rough, So, but we'll hopefully, hopefully this one's a little bit better. Um, so I'm excited to bring you the last bundle of this part, the, excuse me, the last game of this part, but we're going to have some fun with Sonic Generations. Sega. Okay, Sonic Generations. You guys ready? Here we go. A new game. You take damage when you have no rings. Ooh. Wow. I'll tell you you okay, cool. So this looks great though, like graphics wise, this pull 2.5D. Wow, it makes me dizzy. Really crisp, you know, granted I'm running the game on a much higher spec system than it was originally meant to be on, but whoa. This is a cool 2.5D. Again, we're basically playing the first Sonic level in 3D. This is really cool. Wow. It looks great. It's, it's, this is Sonic. Nothing crazy. You know, like, got all the same enemies and everything. Whoa. Talk about fast. Yeehaw. Ha. I'm a Sonic apologist. I I like the trash games that are Sonic. Except for that Sonic Adventure 2 that we just played recently. That was really bad. Thanks. Oh, bad jump. That was a weird animation though. The rings do weird things. That's strange. Doink. Doink. 
How did I get up there? Oh well. Oh yes, yeah, so I've been spinning dashing already, little kid. Boom. Speed. Oh, I'm gonna get up there. Nope, we're going up. We're going back down there. So yeah, if you guys like Sonic, this is basically a Sonic game. Oh, I missed it again. Uh, one more time. We gotta try it again. Oh, I guess you can't get it. Oh well. Next time. Maybe I can get it from here. Oh, that's right. Boom. Yep. That's all I need is a little up. Oh. Oh well, we're gonna continue on. We want to see more of this, don't we? Ooh, extra life. So they do have the kind of big three-dimensional up and down verticality of most Sonic games. Whoa, that's rad. Er, I think I'm gonna go back there and see if do these have. Uh, no, so these are the checkpoints. They don't have any like um, bonus stages like typical Sonic games. But whoa, just jumping right in here, Sonic. It's cool. Oh, hey, just like Sonic. But then again, we're playing. Green Hill Zone. I wonder what other stuff we have. Ooh, there's the fast boots. Oh. Yeah, I understand that, dude. Wow. Wow. That was fast. And that's cool. They have a three-dimensional, like, old-school looking Sonic from Sonic 1. And if you see... Ooh, I got an S rank. That's what's up. Cool, moving on, let's see what happens. Whoa. What is that? So it's a time warper guy. So we a little cutscene here. He'll be here any second. Hey guys, what's oh, going see, on? Oh, see, his his future Sonic, something? all cool looking. Surprise! And that other guy was like the past Sonic. Aw, you guys. The different styles of design. That's cool. Knuckles, and of course we're eating chili dogs. It's kind of impossible to surprise you. You totally got me this time. I had no idea. Why is he holding her face? That's uh, a little violent there. Hope you like this. Chili dog. Like it? I love it. I can go for a chili dog right now. And here comes that weird monster thing. Wow. Okay, so they're like going deep in storyline to like bridge everything. That is a little scary. What's it doing? Wow. Okay. I see. It's sucking all my friends into these different levels all th throughout all the games, and you basically get to play through these. You gotta find them, and that's how you get to meet new Sonic and old Sonic. That's cool. Oh no, Tails! <laughs> wow, that's like pretty intense for a Sonic game. Okay, it's all white screen. Wake up! Let's go! Do I get to meet myself? Oh, weird. Oh, this is kind of trippy. So you can look at the stage and play the stage. That's the only stage I can play right now.
Oh, cool then. Whoa! So then I play 3D as as new Sonic. That's rad. Cool. You get a speed boost to square or X. Oh, I missed that ring hole. Can I go back in it? We're going to. Yeah. Oh, I missed. Whoa! Well, okay, I do have to push. Talk about this fast game, holy crap. It's almost too fast. So I don't know what other moves, what other attacks I can have. Whoa! So you get a boost. Wow, so you can just like get a crazy boost. Holy crap. This is kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. Oh, you can do moves. Whoa. Nice. Whoa. I'm full boost, so I'm gonna boost out of here. Look at that combo. That's right. Oh no, my little run was going good for a little bit there. I had to stop it. So it sucks when you stop. That's a good, good to know. Okay, you got it. I was pushing the button. Just let it go. B, slide underneath it. Okay, so that's boost. So that homing attack works. This both ways. I don't know how to spin dash. That's the thing. So I'm worried that. So you basically you have to like push A as soon as you see an enemy. That's kind of weird. Oh, I got extra life for all those tricks I was doing, and 100 rings. Whoa! Holy crap, so if you push boost, you can kill everything. What the hell, this is kinda rad. The ring to do boost meter, and we're gonna use it. Wow! Oh, cool! Whoa! A rank didn't quite get S rank. That oh, I lied. S rank and the achievements. Cool! Go Sonic game! So I just unleashed Tails by beating that world. Thanks, Sonic. I thought I was dead. Floating with wow. the black limbo. <sighs> I'm gonna have nightmares for weeks. I think we should do a full game series on this game. I like it. Hmm. Totally strange. I'm no stranger than rescuing genies in magic books or saving aliens in an interstellar amusement. That's a weird analogy. I'm more concerned about finding our friends. Hey Sonic, I saw something over there in the distance. Like oh, is that chemical plant zone? That might be a good place to check out. <sighs> I was gonna cut it here, but we're gonna do a little extended overtime for this.
Oh, you see that? That was old Sonic. So Green Hill Zone has been unlocked. And we can see so you do a 2.5D level and then you do a 3D level each one. So you can switch between the two Sonics. Why? And use both to explore the world. Okay. Oh yeah, see there's old that's old school Sonic and that's new school Sonic. That's so cool. And you can talk to stupid tails. Wow. S rank? Yeah, no, I got two S ranks. Okay, we just want to start the chemical because it's one of my favorite music and all of See, Act 1 you do different kind of controller styles. I just want to hear my favorite music in video games. One of my top, so. Yep, chemical plant zone. Yep, they got a cool techno remix of it. Cool. Well, hey, on that note, we've seen it. I don't want to give too much of this game away. Really cool so far. If you like Sonic, you should play this game. Very cool. All right, that concludes uh, that's the last game. So on that note, I'm going to give you some more Sonic action, and I will see you guys later. Peace.